Finally, we can rest. Oh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff. And her stomach so empty. Sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Leo is just too hilly. Floating up and down so much. Where's Paimon out? Oh, Paimon was finally satisfied and now her poor stomach's empty again. Aw, would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me that I bought from a store. Uh, you might want to pace yourself there, or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Paimon never gets too full. Just like... Oh, just like you apparently never get tired, no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. Ah, I see. Then here you go, Paimon. And for you, Traveler. Enjoy! And here's some for you too, Uncle Bosu. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. I'll just set it to the side here for you. She was going to starve to death for a minute there. <laughs> that close of a call, huh? Ah, <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. You can buy them from all sorts of places, whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavor. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. <laughs> oh, oh. All my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be offended. It's okay. Paimon is kind of enjoying listening to your chitter-chatter. Aw, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> hey, Paimon could be in a good mood anytime she 